our bodies are made up of billions of cells. So each cell contains a complete copy of a person's genetic book of life. Uh, chromosomes can be thought of as being made up of strings of genes, DNA that codes for proteins with no coding DNA between them. So the chromosomes include the genes are made up of a chemical substance called DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid. So chromosomes are found in the nucleus of all body cells except for our red blood cells. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, red blood cells have no nucleus and therefore do not contain chromosomes, but another place in the cells where DNA is found in very small compartments called uh, mitochondria. So the, the DNA in mitochondria, each mass is smaller and mostly no coding uh, DNA. So mitochondria are found randomly scattered outside the nucleus, but still within the cell. The DNA with the, within the mitochondria is arranged as one circle. Uh, the role of mitochondria each, in each of the cells of the body is mainly to make energy. It's like our battery for the cell and the body. But it is important to remember that, well, each cell will always have only one nucleus. The number of mitochondria can vary from one cell to another. So the cells in the body, especially in organs such as the brain, heart, muscle, kidneys, can function normally unless they are receiving a constant supply of energy. The cells' the energy is a chemical called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. The ATP is broken down uh, to release the energy needed for the body to work properly, grow, uh, develop a uh, number of chemical reactions that happen in another sequence in the mitochondria control the process of making this energy, this chemical called ADP. So these reactions are under the control of special proteins called enzymes. So the genes found within the mitochondria contain DNA coding for making some of these important enzymes. Uh, the chemical process which happen in the mitochondria to make energy are part of mitochondrial respiratory chains. So this chain is made up of five parts called complexes, one, two, three, four, five. And these complexes, they are made up of a number of proteins. So the extraction of these proteins to be produced by the cells are contained in a number of genes. There are many different genes needed to make the part of the mitochondrial respiratory chain. Some of these genes are found in the DNA of the mitochondria, and others are found in the DNA in the nucleus, nucleus that is related to the chromosomes. So the genes in our DNA provide instructions for proteins, which are the building blocks of the cells that made up our body. Although we all have the vari variation in our genes, sometimes this can affect how our bodies grow and develop. So DNA variations that have no impact on our health are called polymorphisms or variants. So they tend to be more common in people. Uh, these changes may mean that the gene does not work properly or works in a different way that is harmful. Uh, variation in a gene that causes a higher development condition is called a pathogenic variation of mutation. But in the case of a mitochondrial gene, uh, but uh, mutation can sometimes result in enzymes that involves the respiratory chains not produced properly. So this list, you, you can remember that mitochondria is linked to energy batteries and this leads to not, uh, not enough ADP being made. So this could be very, harm very harmful to the body.